So this is uh, Miller Lake, Oregon. It's up by Applegate. We came here to do a survival video for our YouTube channel back in 2020, mid-October. Um, we set a camp up on this side of the mountain. We had turned our cameras off, our batteries were running low. We came down here to fish for some dinner. Um, we spent a good half an hour down here on these rocks, just chit-chatting with the line in the water and- Just uh, trying to make, make ends meet for the night. Yeah, just trying to get something to eat, trying to get warm, get some food. Austin had noticed a couple animals over here on this log that was in the water and he kind of punched me in the arm and said, hey man, what are those? And he's kind of like, hey, you see that over there? Yeah, we uh, we noticed it. I didn't know what to think of it at first. I was thinking maybe a sow and a cub. And I kind of played it off for a few minutes like it's nothing. And the more I looked, the more I seen that it wasn't like a bear. It was more like a, you know, more like a, a man. Yeah, it's so hard to explain. I just can't put it in words. The size of it was yeah. just remarkable. I mean, it's larger than any any human I've ever seen. Um, yeah. And it's, I mean, just as soon as you realize that it wasn't, you know, some kind of animal that you would normally see out here, it, it kind of just like took everything out of your body, just took your, your whole breath away and yeah. everything just went silent. You know, you didn't, you didn't really hear anything but what your thoughts were. Yeah, it was paralyzing for sure. We tried to sneak away so we could get a camera and come back, but by the time we even moved, they had, they had stood up and had noticed us and we had to stare off it. It felt like a good long while just because we were so traumatized of what actually was going on. I wasn't sure if it was people out here messing around or what. And then that and, one, uh, that one kind of like pushed the other one behind it, like almost in a, in a protective situation. And then all of a sudden it just, the whole atmosphere kind of changed on you like heavily. It yeah, was, it went from being normal to extremely like not thick air, not like a humidity, but just like a vibration. I can't yeah. explain it. It's just. It's so, so unexplainable. I just wanted to move, but it's like I couldn't move. You know, it's like I just felt Airline. like I was stuck in this like aura. This yeah, man. Just I felt like I was just stuck in this, and it was almost like a static vibration in the air. Is the best yeah. way. It's like almost like your skin was just humming. Yeah, it was like we were buzzing, man. And I, I just and then once they got up and left, I mean, all these thoughts are just compiling on thoughts. And once once they got yeah. to that edge and that that. Bigfoot kind of pulled the little one behind it and they just disappeared and I was like, okay, that's no, there's no way that's a person. It was like a dark cinnamon. Yeah, it was definitely, it was not black. It was no. not what you hear every day from people. Like this thing was, it had every feature that like you would see like at a, if you went to a zoo and saw a gorilla. Other than other than the mass, wide hips, the mass, yeah, and the short legs, yeah, it had yeah. kneecaps with it no was, fur. It, it had well, I get. I mean, I would like to say it had no fur, it, but then it, again, it could have been wet from being on the log. Yeah. I have no idea. It had uh, long arm hair. You could see like the long arm hair kind of coming off. It was so large that you couldn't even describe it as a human. I mean, no. the be the best way to describe the stature of this beast, this entity was that it was, the arm length was basically double of what our arm length was. Yeah, that's to its knees. It, Below easily, its knees easily. And its height, I mean. Even, I mean, the, even the little one was, was, a, bit, was a six foot six at, guy, you know. At least. At least that big. Um, I mean, it could have been like a teenager. I don't um, know, I don't know. That's what, the thing is they, I just wish I knew more. I wish I could yeah. see it, you know. I'm just I I'm see it beaming this time. mountainside, trying to, you know, trying to see what I could, Re relive what we experienced, but I know it's never gonna happen again, you know? So it's just, it's um, it's an experience it's, that'll never change. Yeah, and you know, for the people that, <laughs> people that don't wanna believe, hey, that's fine, but the people that have seen it, hey, you know. This was, this, this was, was our experience. We're with you, we know, we've seen it, I've seen yeah. it, this is it. Like, I can't explain it, but I know what I saw. Wouldn't and change I'm either. giving you guys the best of what I can do to relive the moment, um, down to the finest detail I can remember. Um, we so badly wanted to not leave. We wanted to wait till the next day to go over there and see if we could find anything like fab, like hair or anything. But or imprints. it got so intense around our camp, like even the mountains over here. So it's hard to pinpoint sound from out here because you're in like this dome. But around our campsite for sure was loud knocking noises. And then over here was like yelling. And so and it just, it was coming from everywhere. So it sounded like there was a a whole bunch of them around us like we just weren't supposed to be here at that point in time and they made it known 
That and, I mean, just sitting here with that, that motion before they really even noticed us, that smell yeah. that they had coming through. Yeah, the best way I could put it, man, is uh, like if you just gave a dog a bath. Yeah. And you know how they have that aroma. That almost, I mean, it's almost like bear, like the, uh, the just natural odor that they have behind them, you know? Mm -hmm. It was uh, gross. It, was, it, it wasn't pleasant. It was, it was, yeah, it was pretty, pretty wretched. Yeah. Um, but once, once they seen us and uh, once we, we kind of locked eyes for that, what seemed to be an eternity, um, yep. they moved off the logs and they kind of hid along the, the tree line there and waited. And then once we got up to move, they kind of well, hitched What it. was craziest for me is that I literally watched these guys back off the log, yeah. hit this tree line. And you can see now clearly, granted yeah. it was darker when we had our sighting, but you could see through the trees, you could see that thing moving. But we once it got behind the trees, there was nothing. It was like it just disappeared in the thing. Or like, like, yeah. A, like I went, I, I thought about it. I wrestled it every night. I went to sleep and thinking, man, did I? Almost like that. Did we get into device. some weird air? Did we hit natural gas line or natural gas in the ground? Just Were something. we Like I'm trying to put all these pieces together in my head to keep me sane, you know, because it, it haunted me like for months. And finally, I, I was thumbing through thumbing through the Facebook and I saw this Bigfoot's page and I saw all these people that had similar experiences and so I wrote wrote out a thing on there about my experience and a lot of people are like hey man this is a great story you know and this and that so it made me feel more more relaxed about the ordeal not so crazy so I, I opened up a little bit more to people about it but of course you know some people just they don't they don't believe I, mean, I never I didn't know what to believe until I, I mean, saw it I can't explain it so I, I'm, going I'm, hiking back down I mean, it wasn't even hike, it was running back down the hill the the feeling of something behind us and it wasn't like there was actually anything that we could see behind us but it felt it like somebody just, was just pushing you I heard crashing knocking weird like who's and haws and it sounded like we had a stampede of elk or something all around our camp. And finally yeah. we just had enough. And I told Austin, I said, hey, look, it's late. I know how to get out of here. Let's just get out of here. Yeah, and we, I mean, we did what we could to get out of here as quick as possible. Yeah, we did leave some items behind. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we didn't yeah. grab everything. Uh, no. So we grabbed what we could grab and we hightailed out of there. We got down into cell phone service on the road by the creek. Uh, we called my wife. She wasn't too happy about it. She came up to get us. And we were just happy to get out of there. It and, took us an hour to get down there through the yeah. mountains. And then by that time, I mean, I was just running up and down the roadway trying to find the little bit of cell service that I can get to yeah. even get a hold of yeah. his wife, Brittany. Yep. And she didn't want to come. No. <laughs> she, she said, I told you guys I'm taking you up there. You're going to stay up there. This is what you guys wanted to do. I'm not coming to get you no matter and what. And then, then she hung up on me. Yeah. And yeah. then we are like, oh, great. So we, we called her back and we're like, hey, yeah. we're serious about this. Come get us. Like, yeah. there, there's... This is not. Once a joke. I took the phone from Austin and told her, I said, "Hey, look, you know me. I don't. I don't. I've spent my life in the woods as a kid hunting and fishing. I still do. Yeah. Um, I said, this is real. You need to come get us. There's something out here. It was the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life, and most frightening thing I've ever experienced in my life, all in one bundle. I'll tell you. I mean, it, it's it's almost breathtaking. You know, you, you coming back to this the scene of the the crime. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But it's weird. I mean, dude. and then I just I keep I keep on I honestly keep on so badly just to, to be like, look, guys, and then everyone can see it, dude. Yeah, but it's never like it's killing me right now to be here. I would and love. It's her. almost like irritating to be here and not see it again. Like I just want to yell, like, where are you at? Come out, come out. I, that experience alone, I mean, it it'll never it'll it it changed changed my life. It'll yeah. never never be the same. But. I mean, shoot, just if I had my fishing pole here again, coming out here, just maybe if recreating the scene, maybe it'll, you know, yeah. show itself one more time. <laughs>